In this video, I'm going to show you how to work the two color slip stitch pattern that's featured in my soundtrack top. I'll be showing you how to work this stitch pattern both in the round as well as flat. Let's start with in the round first. I have my little demo piece here, as you can see, and I've already worked a few rounds of the stitch pattern. So on round one, you're instructed to work with color B yarn. So in soundtrack, that is the color of the dots that you see on the majority of the body. Color A is the background color in the body. So because my previous round was worked with color A, actually I just have one more stitch to knit of the previous round. So then I'll slide my marker. Okay, so because my previous round was worked with color A, which is this blue color, I'm gonna need to carry up um, my color B. So let me show you how I do that. So I'm gonna turn the work over a little bit so that you can see. I'm going to hold the color A yarn, so the blue. I'm actually gonna hold it with my left hand and I'm gonna hold it to the left, just like this. And then here's the strand of my color B yarn, the yellow, and I'm just going to bring it up. So I'm, I'm holding it like this so you can see. I'm holding this to the left. And so when I bring this up, it's going to be going over the color A strand. So that's the key with this. So holding the color A to the left, I'm ready to now work with color B. So it says to first start with a slip one with yarn in back. So to do that, I'm gonna take my right needle and I'm going to insert it into the next stitch on my left needle as if to purl, so purl wise like that. And then I'm just going to slide it over to the right needle. Then it says to knit one. So then I will just go ahead and knit the next stitch. And then once I do that first knit one, I can let go of the color A. I was just holding that to the left until I had worked that first stitch with color B. Then it says to repeat from start to end. So that means I'm going to repeat the slip one with yarn in back and knit one over and over again until I come back around to my beginning of round marker. So we're going to slip one, then knit one. Slip one, and knit one. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this for the entire round. And then one thing I wanted to point out is that as you can see as I'm knitting, you're always going to have color A and B, kind of every other loop over here. So it's good to just kind of keep an eye on that just in case you accidentally slip two in a row or knit two in a row. If you see two colors next to each other, then you know that you did something wrong and you should um, tink back before you go any further. But I will just go ahead and continue my slip one, knit one, until I get back to the beginning of round marker. Okay, I'm just about at the end. Just did my last slip one and then my knit one. So then I will move my marker and now I'm ready to work round two. Round two starts with a slip one um, with yarn in back, just like round one had done. So again, holding the yarn in the back of the work, I'm going to insert my right needle to the next stitch and slip it. And then it says to purl one. Um, instead of knit one like we did on round one. So I'm gonna bring the yarn to the front of the work and I'm going to purl. Then I'll bring the yarn back to the back of the work. And so then I'm just going to be repeating that over and over again till I get back to the beginning of round marker. So we're going to slip one, then bring the yarn to the front of the work and purl one. And then we'll bring the yarn back to the back of the work.
So I will just continue in this manner, slipping one and then purling one until I get back to the beginning of round marker. Okay, so I'm just about done with round two. Slip my marker. Then rounds three to six, so the next four rounds, you'll be working with color A again. So in this case, that's the blue color. And all you will do is knit to, knit to the end on each round. So it's pretty simple, but I did wanna show you a little trick in regards to carrying your yarn up. Um, so first thing, on round three, you'll wanna carry up your color A. So just like we had done previously, but this time we're gonna take the color B, so the yellow, and I'm gonna hold it to the left and then simply bring up color A. And I'm just gonna hold it there to the left until after I've knit my first stitch. Okay, so then I can just let go. Okay, so then I will just knit to the end of the round with color A. Okay, so I'm just finishing up round three. So then I'm just going to slip my marker and then round four is also just knitting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and knit to the end of the round. But at the end of this round, I wanna show you a little carrying up trick. Okay, so I'm just about done with round four. So that means that I've knit two of the four stockinette stitch um, rounds. So I'm at the halfway mark. And at this point, I like to carry up my color B. We won't be working with color B for another two rounds, but by bringing it up now, it will mean that when I do need to work with color B, um, I won't have to bring it up over four rounds. It will have um, less distance, I guess you could say, to travel. The benefit of this is that the least number of rounds that a color has to be carried up over, so in the back of the work here, the less likely it will be to pull on the fabric. So I avoid this by carrying up color B after round four, and let me show you how I do that. So I'm going to take my color A, and I'm gonna hold it to the left, then I'm going to take my color B and bring it up and over color A, like this. So see how, let me move that so you can see, see how I've intertwined them together like this? Let me do it one more time. So I'm gonna take color A, hold it to the left, bring up color B, and then take B and put it over A like this. So they are intertwined and that's it. So now I've carried up B, but I'm not working with it. So then I would just go ahead and start knitting again with color A. And as you can see in the back here, so see how it got carried up just like that. Okay, so um, the instructions say to then for these next two rounds, I will just be knitting them. And so those are the um, six rounds in the slip stitch pattern when you work it in the round. So now let me show you how the stitch pattern is worked when you're working it flat. So here's my little slip stitch demo swatch here. So in Soundtrack, you work this stitch pattern flat after your underarm divide and you're working your front and back separately in the yoke area. Because in Soundtrack, this is also where I swap colors and my background color becomes um, the dot color and vice versa. So I've also done that here in my swatch so that you can see. So now color A, that blue are my dots and color B, my yellow is now the background color. Row one starts with color A. 
So again, that was the blue color. So we'll need to carry it up. So similar to how we did it in the round, I'm going to take the color B, since that was the yarn I was previously working with, and I'm gonna hold it to the left, and then I'm just going to bring up color A. And this way, when I bring it up, it's going over the previous strand. So I'll go ahead and insert my needle, and I will bring it up. And the um, first instruction is to knit two. So I'll go ahead and knit two. Then you will slip one with yarn in back. So just like we had done in the round, I'm gonna slip one and then knit one. And then you're going to repeat those two stitches um, from star to the last two stitches. So slip one, knit one over and over again until the last two stitches. So we've reached our last two stitches and now we just knit two. Okay, so then we'll turn our work to work our wrong side. And it says we're gonna be continuing with color A and to first purl three. We'll purl those first three stitches. And then it says to slip one with yarn in front. So the yarn is already in the front because we had been purling, so we're gonna keep it there. And then we're just going to slip that next stitch. Then it says to knit one. So then we gotta take the yarn and bring it to the back of the work and knit one. Then we're gonna be repeating the slip one, knit one over and over again until the last three stitches, it says. So after I do that knit one, I'm gonna to have to bring the yarn back to the front of the work so I can slip one with yarn in front. And then I'm going to bring the yarn to the back so that I can then knit one. Bring the yarn to the front, slip one, then bring the yarn to the back, and knit one. Okay, so I've reached my last three stitches and it says to end it with a slip one with yarn in front. So again, bring the yarn to the front and we'll slip and then purl two. Okay, so row two is complete. Then on row three, it says with color B knit to the end. So we're going to need to carry up the yarn again. So this time we're gonna take color A, which we had just been working with, hold it to the left, and then bring up color B so that it goes over the strand. And go ahead and bring that up. And I'm just going to then, then I can let go with my left hand, and then I will just knit to the end with color B. Okay, so I've just about reached the end and then I'm going to turn the work and it says uh, row four to purl to the end again with color B. Okay, so we've reached the end of row four. So I'll turn my work. 
Then row five says to repeat row three, which was just to knit to the end again with color B. But just like we did in the round, let's carry up color A at this point because we're kind of at the halfway mark of the um, stockinette area. Um, and this way it will have less distance to travel later on. So just like we had done in the round, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to hold color B to the left. That was one I was just working with. I'm gonna bring up color A and then put it over color B and then bring B up. So see how they're intertwined like that. There we go. And so then I would just go ahead and continue knitting the next two rows with my color B. And as you can see in the back, I've carried up um, color A. It's a little tricky to see. There we go. I've colored, I've carried up color A in this way. It'll have less distance to travel when I'm ready to repeat the pattern again. So after the next two rows, I will have completed my um, six rows of the slip stitch pattern. So that is how you work the soundtrack two color slip stitch pattern, both in the round as well as flat.